Whoa, are those prints? Now those are some really nice bed sheets. Hi, welcome to another episode of Twisted Tech TV. I'm Kevin. I'm Swan. In our first episode, we gave a brief overview of Windows Vista. Swan recently got his hands on Release Candidate 1 of Windows Vista, which has some notable improvements over the Beta 2 we looked at earlier. So what we're going to do today is cut straight to the computer screen, and Swan's going to give you a run-through of some of the new features. And here we are on our testbed machine. Swan has already opened us up into Windows Vista. He's going to show us some of the new features in Windows Vista Release Candidate 1. Here we have the new Vista interface. Uh, one of the new features is this. The taskbar doesn't just show icons anymore, it actually shows a preview of the screen. Mm -hmm. That's a lot more convenient. Exactly. And it moves too, along with um, whatever video or uh, animation you have playing. Convenient. We call this the live preview. Um, this is extended into some of the other functions in Vista. Here um, we have the task switcher in Windows Vista. So if you press Alt-Tab, this is what you get now. You get it with live previews. And I can actually lock this. I'm going to hit Alt, Control, and Tab. And now I'm just using arrow keys to switch. And then you use a spacebar to select the one you want? Spacebar, Enter, yes. Very nice. Here's a feature that's totally unique to Windows Vista. It's called Flip 3D. Oh, that's in your face. It's a very nice effect. Again, here I've locked it using the control key. Um, you press the Windows and Tab key in order to activate this. There's also an icon in the taskbar for it. You can go at different speeds. Um, Will it go forwards and backwards? Yes. Mm -hmm. I can ah. even use my mouse wheel to uh, go at very high speed. That could be convenient for flipping through a large number of open tasks. Mm -hmm. Now, Windows Vista has a new productivity feature that I really like. We all know in Windows Explorer, you can select files contiguously or non-contiguously. Non-contiguous selection with the control key has always been a problem for me. I frequently inadvertently move the mouse while I'm holding down control instead of just clicking and get unwanted copies of the files I've just selected and then I lose my selection set. Yeah, I absolutely hate that. Well, um, this feature will help you out with that. If you go into folder options now, there's a new option there called Use Checkboxes to Select Items. That sounds promising. And now, just like it says, I'm using checkboxes to select items. OK, I see there's a checkbox at the top. I presume that would let me select all or deselect all. Yeah, precisely. Very nice. And no more control key. No more unwanted copies. Mm-hmm. I like it. Okay, here we have the new Windows Photo Gallery. Uh, you'll notice um, in here, not only do we have image media, we also have videos. So all your media is within one group. Okay, that's more convenient. You don't have to divide things by arbitrary associations. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, you don't, don't have to keep them separate by media type anymore. Um, some nice handy features that you can rate things now. You can also add tags. Okay, what would tags do for me? Well, um, I see you've got some existing tags there. Here's, here's a tag. Uh, 
Okay, so that you, means can, you can set categories then to select things. Yeah, that means um, these images here, they have the label ocean. Um, click on one of them. And there we have the tag ocean that was on that image. Okay, what, uh, could I make a custom tag for this? Like call this one whale. Oh yeah, sure can. So now I'm gonna go back to the gallery. There's all my media. Um, here's something that you can do with those tags that'll help you organize things. Um, like that whale tag I just added, you can actually search for any tag within the search box. So I'm going to type whale. Oh, okay, that's a great shortcut. There's my image. Or from the search bar, you could uh, pick your landscape items, for example. Mm -hmm. Yep. Any other keyword? Um, let's see, I'm going to type wild. So it finds everything that had the wildlife tag on it. All right, that's very handy. Swan, why don't you show us uh, some of the new features in Internet Explorer 7? Okay, um, Internet Explorer 7 has finally caught up to be a modern browser that I really like. Um, I actually don't mind using it. Uh, you'll see now we have tabs. Okay, that's a convenient feature. No more 5,000 instances of Internet Explorer every time I open a new link. Exactly. They're all, they're all located in one tab, just like uh, multiple documents in those word processors we were talking about. Mm -hmm. um, here, I've organized some favorites previously. You can actually open them within tabs as well can open each one singly within a new tab, or uh, in this case, I'm gonna open up the whole group. Oh, sweet. So you can see a lot of implications for this feature. Okay, how many different ways can I switch between the tabs? I presume control tab mm -hmm. will we'll do that? Yes, control tab, um, naturally you can select it. Um, here's a new one, check this out. It's called quick tabs. Oh, a live preview of all of them. Mm -hmm. Just like we get with the, the task bar and the, the, the task switcher. Uh huh. Yeah, except you get to see everything on a one Internet Explorer window, it's very handy. So just select the web page that you want to view. Uh, go back to the quick tabs view. I see they have close buttons there also. Mm -hmm. Close the tabs that you already looked at. And browse your uh, remaining tabs. So it really is quite useful. Well, Internet Explorer is catching up with the rest of the world and even getting better in some ways. Yes, it's a very nice browser now. Well, Swan, let's see what's going on with the system. Why don't you show me the task manager? Oh, that's pretty. 